This is another episode about AliExpress and how you can save money when you're just getting started out on triathlon. I have been asked by a lot of people lately, what are the best, most affordable things that I can buy if I'm getting in triathlon? Before I show you what I'm about to show you, I just want to put out there that I really don't advocate for this for absolutely everybody. If you have the money to spend, then support your local brands because this is the cheapest way and it's kind of lame. I will show you how you can buy knockoff versions of your favorite brands, which like I said, is kind of lame. So here we go. So here we are on AliExpress.com. Looks like we have some Wadi ink and Love the Pain. They actually rip off the pictures too. So you can buy here based on what the pictures look like, but that is pretty much 99.9% .9 not what you're gonna get. Ooh, look at here, we have Wadi ink. These kits, brand new, are usually like four or $500. Their size charts are always off, so it's hit or miss when you purchase here. I will try an extra small on this one at the cart because it's only $28. See, the thing is when you order on AliExpress, you kind of just have to hope and pray or whatever you believe in <laughs> that it will come the right size. Okay, now here's the super cool part. I'm gonna go ahead and buy all five of these for a total of $167.57. Okay, so that's it. I hit the buy button, so now the waiting game begins. Ta-da! Check this out. When you buy stuff on AliExpress, specifically clothes, you really have no idea what you're gonna get by the time it comes in the mail. So I decided to order from five different stores and test out their tri suits and see which one is the most comfortable, which one looks the best on, which ones I would use during a race or just for training, and which ones are basically just for Instagram photos. <laughs> Whoa, awesome. <sighs> So this is double excess. You can see it's still like a little bit loose. You're gonna, the chamois is so thick. You're not gonna wear this one in a race. If you swim in this and you get out, it's gonna feel like you're wearing a wet diaper. So the arms are comfy. This is a little bit tight. The zipper is good. I would say the neckline's a little bit too high. The pockets are a little bit high. The seams are okay. They're not like sewn down. I don't know what the name of the seams are that where they actually sew them flat, but these are not the flat ones. So I think if you were to wear this for a really long time, the seams would actually start digging into your skin. Okay, thanks. Try this one. Chase Penis. In my past video, when I ordered a bunch of sunglasses off of Valley Express and gave you all a little taste of how awesome those were. You do have to wait a really long time sometimes when you buy stuff from AliExpress so I usually just buy a bunch of stuff and kind of forget about it and then as the packages arrive it's like little presents here and there. So I ordered everything on September 23rd and I got the last of it on October 25th. This one that I bought for $34. Um, the original is $200. I will say this one is pretty close to something that I would wear comfortably in a race. It's still not quite perfect. Like for instance, the chamois in this one is exactly how a tri suit chamois should be. You'll be able to swim in this and it's not gonna be like you have a diaper when you get out. It actually feels really good on. I would say this is all, again, a little bit tight down here around the legs. Arms are good. I would say the neck on this one is also a little bit too high, but the one thing that's just absurd and makes this one not logical to wear in a race is when it comes to your nutrition. Check this out. Like, you have to be a contortionist to get anything out of these pockets. Zipper is good. You zip it, the short, the, the bottoms come all the way up past the belly button and the zipper's on the outside of that. The seams are the same, not, not sewn down either. So this is probably gonna tear right here. It fits perfectly, but some of the stuff is stretching, so I think it wouldn't last very long, this quality. Next. Here we go. You see here, these sleeves are ridiculously tight. I've already broken the seam as much as I could, but it's just the elastic in there. I feel like it's cutting off circulation. The zipper, it feels kind of sharp. It's super uncomfortable there. I don't really like these big necks. The chamois, doop, is a little bit too thick for um, swimming. 
Yes, it's not as thick as uh, that first Love the Pain one. Probably won't feel like you're running in a diaper if after a swim, but I would still say I, I wouldn't use it for a race. The pockets are in a good position so I can actually get food out of them if I need it. Down here, just a little bit tight. It feels good. Let me check out the seams. The seams are the same, but I would go ahead and say this one is pretty good. Still not perfect for a race. Now let's move on to the Wadi Ink one. <laughs> This one's just not even comfortable anywhere. Okay, first of all, the chamois is really thick. This one already broke, so definitely cheap quality. It's uh, very turtlenecky like the other ones. It needs to be cut a little bit lower. The arms are fine. The seams are the same seams as all the rest of them. Definitely don't want to be wearing this one in a triathlon. Pockets, these are by far the most absurd. Like. I really can't get my arm up there. This definitely needs to be stretched out a little bit down here. Um, this one from Wadi Inc. is $550. So if you want the look, at least you can get it for $33. All right, so let's move on to the last. Love the pain. <laughs> this one, wow. It's not great at all. Super see-through, like the seams were stretching so bad when I was putting it on. Neck again, too high. It's like a turtleneck. Pockets again, too high, but not as bad as the last one. Chamois is still really thick. Definitely not going to wear this one in a race either. For $39, it sure beats the $425 from Love the Pain. I'm going to do my best to break all of this down for you and let you know my opinions on these after actually putting them all to the test. Five different tri suits here. I bought them from five different stores on AliExpress. I'll link them all in my description as well just in case some of you want to purchase some of these for training. I wouldn't recommend any of these for races. They're not good enough quality to race comfortably in them, but I will probably wear these during training. This Trace Pina's knockoff was the closest to perfect when it would come for racing. Maybe like a short sprint triathlon because you're not gonna be able to take any food with you in this one. I will keep all of these because they all fit good enough, I guess, and I will use them for training. What I would recommend is just invest in one good tri suit. You're gonna wanna be comfortable on race day. It doesn't have to be Wadi Ink. This one's $550. You can get some for 400 and then sometimes they have sales. Trace Pinas is really good. You can always find something on their website for like 200 bucks. You go to AliExpress and they have so many different stores there. But some of them just put the stuff up there and they grab whatever name that AliExpress gave them. So for this particular store, it's called Shop 910370013 store. Like anybody's gonna remember that. I will link all of this in the descriptions. And the moral of today's story is buy at least one good quality tri suit if you're going to be racing in triathlon. And then you can bust splurge and buy whatever you want on AliExpress and use all of those for training. All right, so that is all I have for you today. Please let me know in the comments if you wanna see more content like this and I look forward to seeing you 